Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Video Clips. Um, I've been sharing some of my personal thoughts and experiences about all of this, and that seems to be helpful to many of you. So I'm going to continue doing that on Wednesdays until I think I run out of productive things to say, and then I'll shift to something else. Um, last week, I talked about the importance of being willing to leave people, places, and friends behind and things behind in order to move on. And I, it occurred to me that we've all done this before, um, sometime in our lives. We've had to do it. We just never had to do so much of it in such a short period of time. So one could say that this whole COVID debacle accelerated everything that was eventually going to happen anyway. And we just tend to deal better with things that unfold more slowly, I think, but this has just sped everything up. And I think recognizing this can be somewhat helpful because then you no longer see this whole thing is causing the fracturing of relationships, but rather the catalyst that really accomplished something that was almost inevitably going to happen anyway, it just happens sooner. Now that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt, it does. And of course it's uncomfortable, but it's less uncomfortable than the alternative, which is to be alone while in the company of others, which is the situation I think reflecting back, I know I think I was in with several people and groups and which you may have found yourself in as well. Some of these are the people who we've disconnected from. My grandparents used to tell me what doesn't kill what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and stronger people are going to be needed in order to clean up the mess after this whole debacle is somewhat over it will go on for decades I think it's worse than cleaning up the mess after World War II. So we're going to need some stronger people so maybe this is just all preparation for what's coming next and we had to go through this part in order to be ready for the next part. We're all learning how to transition from feeling devastated to feeling more determined than ever to be part of the solution as we clearly disconnect from people who are part of the problem. And, and I just can't, I don't have any patience anymore for people who are part of the problem. So somebody sent me a story about what happened to her and I thought it was just so well written and um, that rather than my talking about my life again so much, uh, other than to say, um, you know, it's still happening and <laughs> people are just this week, a business associate um, decided to disconnect. I saw it coming, um, very unfortunate situation, but I just don't have it in me to say what people want to hear in order to keep them around. I, if that's the price of being around, I guess I just don't need you around. All right. So anyway, this story was sent to me and I think it really is capturing our collective experience and I wanted to share it with you. It goes, I can't thank you enough for today's video, giving up attachment. I'm weeping now. It was so beautiful for me to hear you share because I'm going through exactly the same thing. I lost a relationship with one of my best friends recently. I realize I can't placate people anymore by wearing a mask, even for a ride in the car, or socially distancing when I know that that doesn't work and it's harmful to our health. I can't pretend to share people's viewpoints or be quiet in the face of people spewing nonsense. At first, this was scary, but now it feels so good. So right, finally, at 59, I am who I am, and people can accept me or not, and whatever they choose is fine. It's a major letting go in the name of truth and liberty. Ah, there's nothing like soul freedom. It's great to be real. It's great to say no. It's great to uh, be the only person in a store without a mask. It's great. Let's it's the great let's pretend game because the majority of people wear them under their noses because they can't breathe. They know they don't work, but they continue the charade of nonsense and compliance. I refuse to go back to my yoga and Zumba classes and wear a mask. I won't allow my dentist to take my temperature. I refuse to go to a restaurant and wear a mask to enter, to go to the bathroom and leave, but take it off to eat and socialize. My meditation group is closed indefinitely because of an invisible imposter virus. So I meditate alone, knowing that God and infinite goodness is always with and within me. I'm questioning and putting pressure on the lawmakers. And as you and your friend Peggy Hall so rightly call them the lawbreakers, you and Peggy are my long distance friends. Thank you for who you are, you are and what you are doing for our country. I'm meeting new people, sometimes for a few minutes in stores and sharing information with them about how they can free themselves and others. They're grateful and know what is going on is wrong. I'm glad my husband, my sister, and a few close friends see things in the same light. I'm blessed for I know there are many who feel very alone and I pray that our paths cross so that I can smile, listen, and share so that they may know that they have a friend, feel some hope, and discover that they're really not alone. And I thought that was just a beautiful thing to share with you. 
the fact really is that we're not alone. We're all connected, albeit long distance right now, to one another through email and newsletters and videos and information sharing. And we're slowly starting to make connections with new people. And as this writer, I think, expressed so well, but a wonderful thing is going on right now. I guess I'm the Pollyanna who's always trying to find the silver lining. I just don't want to, I don't want everything to be so negative. I mean, I want people to be sufficiently motivated to do things differently, but I don't want to be so negative as to make people feel defeated. You know, having been burned a bit by people to be, who pretended to be friends and, you know, we now know the difference. And this means that new connections, even though they're brand new, sometimes are much stronger than some of the ones that we left behind that were very old and established. I mean, I might put air quotes around the term established because how established are they if they were so easy to fracture, right? So um, anyway, I think that, um, I think that uh, the bottom line is that we all, we don't really have any choice. I mean, at a certain point in time, if you're honest with yourself and you're honest with others, you have to be honest about saying, I just can't any longer go along with this. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to disconnect because I just don't even know what to say about it anymore. And um, I think there's a relief in it for other people. <laughs> I really do. Uh, I know there's a relief in it for us to just not have to pretend anymore. Uh, by the way, if you live in the Central Ohio area, please drop by on Thursday night for our MAFA meetings. We had our first one last week. The next one is tomorrow. Um, it was fun. It was great for people to be in the same room who have the same objectives and want to help make things better, to connect with each other, and um, uh, to, to learn from each other. So uh, six o'clock, don't need to make a reservation, just show up and bring friends. And I'm positive that um, this type of community um, type meeting together can be spread throughout the country and, and uh, grow our numbers even faster. So thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Um, my email address is pampopper at msn.com. Feel free to email me about any of the programs we offer that are interesting to you. We have a conference coming up. Um, lots of things going on around here. Go to our website at wellnessforumhealth.com and check out the forbidden video that I posted this week. And remember, our newsletter has the forbidden news as well. So I put the forbidden stuff over there where it's harder for them to do something about it more mainstream stuff here, but things I think that are good to share with you. As usual, pass this on to anybody who you think would enjoy watching it and learning from it, and I'll be back to you tomorrow with more news.